Once again this year, commuters in Seoul could use public transport free of charge at peak hours. But following the first trial run on Monday, there were mixed responses to the effectiveness of these measures. Lee jong -yun took a closer look. The emergency fine dust measures have once again been implemented in Seoul on Wednesday. These measures come into effect when two or more consecutive days have fine dust levels exceeding 50 micrograms per cubic meter. Public transport fees are waived during peak hours and an alternating driving rule, which recommends cars with odd and even-numbered license plates take turns on the road, is implemented. The current fine dust level in Seoul is now in the severe category on the air quality scale as it is above 100, way beyond 50, that is the standard for implementing these emergency fine dust measures. On Monday, there was a 1.8 percent decrease in traffic entering Seoul compared to the previous Monday, and there was a mere 2.1 percent increase in the number of subway users and 0.4 percent increase in bus users. This led many to question the effectiveness of the measures. I don't know if it's worth the money to offer free public transport. I think they should rather offer free flying dust masks. I think some people would rather drive their own cars than save a few bucks on public transport because they'd spend less time walking outside. At this time of the year, the northwesterly winds from China often bring heavy dust into the city. So experts point out the very temporary and local nature of these measures. Moreover, a more long-term solution would involve controlling the total amount rather than the size of dust particles. They only cared about the you know, regulation of the bigger size particle. It means that all the smaller particles can just be emitted without any problem. So now government just started to put some kind of stringent regulation on those uh, you know, total quantity-based uh, emission control. He added that these measures are more cost-effective and realistic than offering free public transport, which cost the Seoul government almost 5 billion won, or 5 million U.S. dollars, on Monday. Jong-yeon, Arirang News.